Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Oscar. Sharon. Nice to meet you. Same here. So you live around here? Not too far from here. Oh, okay. So do you often walk out on this road? Well, a couple of times a week. Oh, that's great. Right, right. You look good. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? Well, nothing, really. Nothing? Sorry, nothing. I just completed my NYC and I'm job hunting. Oh, job hunting. I see. Hmm. Okay, I um I work with a uh, rich more group of companies here. Nice. And Good I'm for you. yeah, I'm close to the MD. Okay. I can talk to him on your behalf. What did you study, please? Business administration. Oh, business admin. Oh, that's good. So I can talk to him on your behalf. Really? If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Yeah, I can. Oh. Please, let, let me have your number so I can... Uh... Okay. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah, Sharon. Yes. I remember. I'll just save it. So like I said, uh, I'm close to the MD. I can talk to him on your behalf. And whatever he says, I'll give you a call. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Nice morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Today is a good day. What happened? Ah, while I was jogging this morning. Hey, stop now. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, as I was saying, mm -hmm. I was jogging this morning and I met this guy. His name is Oscar. He was also jogging. We got talking. And he told me that he is the personal assistant to the MD slash CEO of Richmore Group of Companies Limited. Mom, that's the company that produces plastic. Uh -uh. Richmore Group of Company. Mm -hmm. All those, uh, all those of our plastics and buckets, uh, my cooler inside the store. They are, they are their products. Mom. Huh? Hold on, let me just give you the good news. Okay. Now, the good news is Oscar promised to put in a word. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He promised to put in a word and probably help me secure a job in that company. <laughs> Seriously? Mom, have I ever said anything less? I am serious. Like, I have a good feeling about it. Hey! My daughter, you know what? I know that God must surely answer my prayers. Amen. He will. And he will grant you your heart's desire. Amen. Amen. Now you are true. Job is there waiting for you. Amen. God must surely do it. Mom, I just oh my believe that God orchestrated my meeting with Oscar today. Because come to think of it, why would our paths cross today of all days? I have been jogging every morning since I got back from service. Mm -hmm. And today feels blessed. I don't know. Everything is just... I'm excited, Mom. And I just pray that everything works. God is at work. Amen. God is at work. Amen. He must surely do it for you, my daughter. From your mouth straight to God's ears. Yes, now. <laughs> eh? I am a, I, 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 I am a, 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 a daughter of God. Mm. Eh? The most high God. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he must surely hear my prayer. Mom, please. I know. I feel thirsty. Let me just go take some water. Oh, so, so water. <laughs> Mom, please stop. Biko. Biko. 
Go, 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 go. I must wait. I you service. Ah, okay, how much? So, what I have is water. I won't get water. No, I don't have money. Hey. God. Rich more plastic group of company. God, you never fail. Do this for her. Let your will be done. Are you okay? Oh, yes, Oscar. Um, get the manager to place an advert on newspapers, social media, wherever, uh, with respect to the vacant position of the company's administrator as soon as possible. Um, Chief, I think I have found the right person for that position. Um, she has a master's degree in business administration. Yeah. Really? Yes, sir. Who is she? Her name is Sharon. Sharon. How well do you know her? Um, I've known her for a while, sir. Uh, and you kept quiet all this while? I mean, you are aware that the, this position has been existing for the past one month. And you didn't say anything. Uh, my apologies, Chief. I, I only just remembered this morning. It was an oversight. It's all right. Um, okay, uh, place a call to her. Ask her to see me immediately. Oh, you mean I should call her to come over? Yeah, of course. Um, tell her to come and... Um, she should come with her CV and her application later. All right, I'll do that ASAP. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sharon, right? My name is Oscar. Yeah. I'm okay. How about you? All right. Uh, I spoke to my boss about you and uh, he asked that you come around. I told you I was going to call you back, right? Uh, okay, so just come along with your CV. Hey, congratulations in advance. All right. Yes, Chief. Nothing short of excellence. Oscar was indeed right. Huh. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Chief. Chief. This is amazing. You are a first class graduate of business administration? Yes, sir. Wow, impressive. Sharon, right? Yes. Well, um, your grade is great. 
But I'm sorry to tell you that we don't have need for someone like you. We don't need your services because um, there's nowhere to fix you. Edmond? Chief. It's not a place to decide that. Let me have the ceiling. Oh, sorry, Chief. Mm -hmm. I only asked you to look at it oh, sorry, so Chief. that you know that uh, we have a very competent person here. Um, Chief, I just wanted to tell her the truth. Which is? Anyways. Good. Um, Sharon? Yes, Chief. Congratulations. I'm offering you the position of um, administrative officer in this company. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Chief. Yes. Thank you. Thank Do you, you have Thank any you. problem with my decision? No, not at all, Chief. No. Good. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Sharon. Yes, Chief. This is uh, Edmond. The supervisor in the company um, is going to give you the necessary orientation you need and um, show you to your office. Thank you, Chief. I promise I'll, I'll give it my all. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Thank you. Sharon? Yes, please. Shall we? Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. This is really beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Well, um, like I said in the briefing, um, this is Rich Mall Group of Company. In this company, there are so many things we don't take, like ill chatting, irresponsible reasons for not coming to work, and other things like loitering around and playing with your job. Yes, 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 yes. You you said all of that during orientation and. It's duly noted, sir. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> wow, I feel like it. Mm hmm. Uh, but please, can I? Yeah, sure. Feel free. It's your office. Thank you. <laughs> she has to dance to my tune, else I'll kick her out. I have kicked out numbers of persons from this office and she's not going to be an exception. Oh my god. I'm glad you like it. Yes, I like it, thank you. Well, that'll be all for now. It's okay. Yes, 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 you did it, God, you did it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for putting a smile, restoring my peace, and keeping my faith. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, finally. As for Oscar, I can just wait to thank you. Like, this is wonderful. This is a good one. Thank you, Oscar. God bless you. Hey. <laughs> Hi, look who's in charge of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you deserve a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you. God bless you. <sighs> you made all of this happen. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to? Nothing much. I was just trying to familiarize myself with the office, right. then 
get up to date with the files. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Once again, congratulations and uh, I'll you. let you do your work, okay? Oh. Oscar, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing God to use you to bless me. You're God oh. sent, thank you. You deserve the best. Thank you. All right, so we'll take care. It's your, oh, sorry. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Is Mr. Edmund in any way related to the MD? Like, is he his son, in law, relative, whatever? No, not at all. He's a staff just like every other person in this office. Why, why do you ask? Uh, nothing, really. I just wanted to know. Because he's always acting all high and mighty, like... Oh, I think you should um, ignore him and focus on your work. Of course. Yeah, just like I said, he's just uh, he's a staff like every other person, all right? It's okay. That's fine. All Thank right. you. It's okay. I'll leave you to get used to work. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. This one you're dancing and singing in unto joy. What is it? Uh, how did it go? Mom, eh? I am so happy that I cannot contain my joy. Really? Uh, how did it go? Eh? You are killing me with anxiety already. Talk to me. <laughs> eh? Mom! Eh? It's just like... <laughs> yeah, you will Mom. not kill me. Mom, eh? guess what? Uh -huh. You mm. are standing beside uh -huh. the new administrative officer of Richmond Group of Companies Limited. <laughs> Sharon! Yes! You! Mommy! Mom, I am so, so elated. I don't even want to do any more. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You mean that young man you met earlier today kept to his promise? Hmm. Mom, God works in mysterious ways. You're he, right. He, I, don't, I don't know. Yes, he did. He kept his word. Like I told you, he's the PA to the MD. He's his right-hand man, Mom. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Like, my dear, let me just confess to you. Do you know I almost stopped you from going to your usual morning workout? Do you know? Hi! Thank God not. I did not do it again. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I, I don't know what else to do. I, I'm, I'm happy, Mom, but... <sighs> Why? Why did your mood suddenly change? Mom, I think I, I might have a problem in that office. No, go for it. Problem one. How? Huh? Go for it. You will not have any problem. Amen. What do you mean by that? Uh, Mom, let's mm. not just kill this joy. Nothing matters. You will not kill I am me. happy. Sharon, Mommy, you will not kill me. You will not die. Mom. Ow. Ow. See, uh -huh. this calls for celebration. Okay. Uh -huh. Mom, uh -huh. what, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? I'll uh, drink. Oh, you want to go to church and celebrate? Which one do you want? Uh, let me drink the water first. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you, Thank you for everything. Thank you, Father, we worship you. 
now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. How is it? Good morning. Another one. 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 That's my sister. Be a good girl. Mom, I'm always a good girl. Oh, What's that? I know that. Just Tell him to be a good boy, not me. Mom, he's, he's a big boy. He's a good boy. Mom, so I'm a bad girl. Oh, no, no, I didn't say so. Better. Let me go and shower. Go and shower. <laughs> Great <laughs> admin. Congratulations. Great admin. I'm sorry. Eh. Look at the way she's smiling. <laughs> Something happened this morning and needs to be attended urgently. And if it's not properly addressed, this will lead to some sort of revolt. And more. Calm down, okay? Calm down, please sit. And more. I mean, what happened that um, you are looking so upset? Chief, this madness has to be addressed immediately. You still have not said anything. Chief, I came to the office this morning. I saw Sharon conducting morning devotion in the office. Oh, that. <laughs> that one is actually a nice one. You like it? Chief, is this what you have to say? Chief, this is an office. This month. I don't see anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, you are supposed to commend her for that. You are a supervisor in this company for years, and you never thought it wise to do such a thing. And now somebody else brought this wonderful initiative and you are revolting. Listen, henceforth, I am making money devotion mandatory in this company. Okay? Chief, the Sharon that started this devotion was just employed yesterday. And today she has started money devotion. Does it make sense? Sorry, Chief, I have to go back to my duty. Money. You see the madness you protect downstairs in the middle of praying. Listen, if you try to in this office, I will ensure that you'll be fired. I'm not bluffing about this. I'm talking to my eyes and see. I don't get this. That's serious about this. Mr. Edmund, I don't get this one bit. What's going on? Oh, you're beginning to pretend as if you don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Where are you conducting in this office? I don't really like it. I said so. Stop it! Mr. Edmund, I don't see anything wrong in what I did. I only conducted morning devotion, which is supposed to be done in every office, every single day. Why this is it not sitting well with you? This is an office, not a prayer crowd. If you want to do that, take it to your house. This is an office, we don't do it here. I said so. Well, Mr. Edmund, if you think that I have derailed from the laid down rules and regulations of this office, then you should complain to the MD. 
okay? He is the only one who has every right to tell me to stop, not the other way around. Mm. <sighs> I see. You have guns. What's the meaning of this nonsense? He's not done raving and now he's back. What is it? Come in! The MD wants you. Of course, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there shortly. Right now? Of course. I'll be right there. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your name reigns in all of the earth. Yes, 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 yes. We did it. You alone did it. Because my Bible tells me the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. They are safe and they are protected in your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am super excited and happy. Mm. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. This is a good start. Apparently, we are preachers of the gospel and we preach Jesus everywhere we go. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Wow. What kind of human being is that? I have no idea. You have to be careful with him. Or... Mom, you needed to have seen his bloody red eyes when he walked in on us singing praises and worship. His eyes were pure red. Hmm. Huh. Mm. That man must be a demon. <laughs> Mom, he threatened me. Yes, he threatened me that he was going to deal with me if I don't stop that nonsense I call morning devotion, according to him. You would have challenged him. Of course, Mom. Don't you trust your daughter? I did. I stood my ground. And I emphatically told him that only the MD has a right to tell me what to do and what not to do in that office. Good. Yes. And what did he say? Uh, hmm. Well, as usual, he started raving, insults, said a whole lot of things, and finally, he dashed out like a raving madman that he is. I don't care. My daughter, <sighs> you have an assignment in that office. Yes, something tells me that there is something fishy about that Mr. Edmund. Yes. You think so? I know so. Something is fishy about him. Whatever, I sincerely do not care about him. That's his business. Sweet. Good. Something happened today at the company that uh, I've not witnessed that in the history of rich more group of companies. Mm. Good or bad? Good. Good. Um, I was told that um, this young girl that was recruited yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
conducted a prayer session with all the staff. Hmm. Hmm. Is that right? Yes. But something funny happened. This supervisor, Edmund, I was told, went to the venue of the prayer session and disrupted it. What? Why should they do a thing like that? You ask me. And the funny thing is that he had the impetus to come to my office, ranting, uh -uh. threatening fire and brightstone, right in my presence. Edmund. Yeah. I thought he's a Christian. Ah. So I thought. So what beats me is why a Christian is now opposed to prayers. Then he needs to be checked. Honestly, this is unbelievable. And you know, recently he's been carrying himself as if he's the owner of the company. Well, um, I admonished um, Sharon to continue with the good words. Yes. 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 Prayers, very important. That's a good one. And then, um, one of these days, I will stop over to see Sharon. Oh, that will be fine. Yeah. Um, from what I saw with this girl, I mean, given that um, she started work just yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be a very dedicated and uh, devoted worker. Okay. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay. Watch and see. Yeah. Edmund. <laughs> so that let's leave the office matters. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Tell me. What's happening at the home front? Oh, everything, whatever you want. I trust you. Whatever you want. <laughs> What are you talking about? What don't you understand? Listen, you don't belong here. Your living this office is made or I'm forced to do it myself. Mr. Edmund, you better put that down before you hurt someone. I call the shot here. I decide what you're going to do with this. Come to leave or not. If you want to leave, you out. Mr. Edmund, get out of my office. What is wrong with you? Jesus, blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. What is it? Mom, it's a bad dream. Bad dream? Horrible one. What happened? What did you see? Mr. Edmond. Edmond. Your supervisor. I always knew there was something off about that man. What did he do? I, I saw Mr. Edmond with a knife. A knife? Yes, he was advancing towards me and he wanted to stab me. God forbid! Chineke, Baba Jesus, the way I am. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! He cannot do anything to you. He cannot hurt you. Mom. He is not your God. Mom, you almost killed me. If not that I had started running for my life. He was... He did see the mean look in his eyes. Like he transformed into something else. He, he told me he's in charge. And that I won't come from nowhere to spoil things for him. Ashi, ashi. Owi, ashi. Eh? Because I'm going to report him to my God. The kind of fire he will receive. He will not stand it. Holy Ghost fire destroy him. Holy Ghost fire eat us. 
In fact, he cannot do anything to my own child. Huh? I noticed you when you started walking here. I mean, you're so beautiful. I must say this is one of the most beautiful ones I've ever known. Like, you've got the beauty, the right calls in the right places. Mr. Edmund. Oh, let me ask you this first. How would you feel, or how do you see the both of us as couples? Please, move over and sit. Thank you. Are you pushing me away? Can you stop this at once? What has come over you? Yo. Yo, is that thing that has come over me? Like, I want you so deep. Can't you see that for yourself? Stop acting holier than that. Listen, I've seen women like you in the past. You know, women who want something and they want to pretend over that. You know. But then, let's be realistic. This stuff down there doesn't have me to tell how many persons are facing. I beg your pardon, Mr. Edmund. What sort of vile words said this? Listen, I'm sorry. 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 You can laugh for all I care. But I would like to let you know that it's a done deal already. <laughs> Mr. Edmund. <laughs> you really amuse me. So you mean I, Sharon, should sleep with you? Not on your life. Well, I'll be pleased to let you know that that is the only way you can continue to work in this office. Really, Mr. Edmund? The last time I checked, sexual relationship is not a do or die affair. You cannot force or bully me into sleeping with you. I am not bullying you, Miss Sharon. I am only letting you know what is obtainable in this office. If you must continue to work in this office, you must have an affair with me. Nothing changes that. I'd rather die than do it with you. Then I will have to force it down your truth, or you will be waiting for what is to come thereafter. Is that supposed to be a threat, Mr. Edmund? Then I'm shaking in my boots. I'm, I'm sure you don't know who you're talking with, do you? I can see you've got some guts. Mr. Edmund, if you have been doing this with other ladies, you cannot do it with me. You won't dare. <laughs> You're really bold. You've really got some guts, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Get out of my office. Get out. <sighs> Beautiful soul. You have to do this with me. You know what? I've had enough. Get out. What does that mean? No, you're a twin. Get out. Get out, Mr. Edmund. Get out. So, I called you here 
to give you this. And what's this? Uh, that's my first salary. Just to say thank you. It's all. This from my heart. Don't get it wrong. Sean. Thanks. You're welcome. But no thanks. What? Listen, this is the reward for your hard work for the month. And you want to give it to me? Yes. But I wouldn't have gotten any job if not for you. So no. it's just a thank you. There'll no. be more salaries to come. Listen, it's it's not necessary. But I just want to say no. thank. That, that's enough. All right, that's yours. You keep it. All right. I have to get back to work. Oscar. Are you coping, you know, with the job as your dad's PA? <laughs> um, quite challenging, mm. but I'm learning really fast. Mm. Yeah. That's good. I know most of them don't know you are the MD's son. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't know. We've been very discreet about it. Yeah. You know, to some, Chief Richard is childless. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's what you think. How? Why? Yes, as uh, human beings for you. Mm -hmm. you know. um, mm -hmm. Oscar left this country pretty early. Yeah. And since they've not been seeing me with any child, they mm -hmm. thought I, I'm childless. Yeah. Do I really care? I mean, I, I wonder why people should concern themselves with other people's affair that doesn't concern them. Right. I, I mean, I can't figure it out. Um, Mom, something happened. Something very interesting happened. What happened? So the new administrator gave me her one month salary. Hmm? What? Yeah. For you to keep or for you to have? She just asked me to take it. Why would she do that? I have no idea. But she said um, she was only trying to appreciate me for my kindness. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, come on. I mean, that is not enough reason for her to relinquish full I, month salary. I am I mean, totally confused. Hope you didn't take it though. Come on, mom. No, I did, <laughs> I did not. Of course, I didn't. I don't understand. I didn't, I didn't. I mean, I'm supposed to be the the PA to the MD. Mm -hmm. I should be the one giving her money, not mm -hmm. the other way around. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's so true. No, I, didn't, I didn't take it from her. I just said thanks, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> she's a nice girl, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. I haven't met her, though. Yeah, mom, she's really humble. Mm -hmm. She's quite cool. And hard work. Yeah, she's very brilliant. Mm -hmm. Very brilliant. She looks like a church girl though. One month salary. One month. <laughs> what? She's just been grateful, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey, uh -huh. Mom, my dear. Guess what? What? I collected my first salary today. <laughs> wow, yes. baby. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And guess what I did? What exactly? Well, after removing my tithe from the money, I decided mm -hmm. to give Oscar the rest. You know, as a way of saying thank you for everything he did for me. But guess what he did? What did he do? 
He rejected it. What? Mm -hmm. He did not accept the money from you. Mom, he vehemently stood his ground. <sighs> that, that, that guy is a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's a good guy. He is, Mom. Oscar is a cold-headed guy. Hmm. At least, you have shown him that you are not an ingrate. <sighs> My daughter. Mom. Has he declined the money? I want you to invite him over to the house so I can thank him myself. Mom. Uh-huh. Are you sure that will be necessary? Yes, no. It's necessary. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell him. You know what? What? One more thing. Uh, mom. That money, um. I want you to remove your tight. I mean... 10% of it. So you will give it in the church, oh. Mom. Don't forget. Rest yourself. I did that already. I know, my baby. <laughs> uh -uh. You have been doing it when you are in your service now. <laughs> How much more this, this one? Mom, I feel like the happiest girl in the whole world. But I mean, collecting my best salary. It feels so surreal. Of course, uh, the, the peanuts, the pears, uh, NYC. <sighs> Mm. But this is different, like... That's right. Oops, we haven't prayed. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> you know my father? <laughs> no. No. You're welcome. Thank you very much. How are your parents? They're doing fine. Uh, they send their regards. You mean they know you're coming here to visit us? Oh yes, of course. I, I told them I was coming here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Scott. Oh, thank you, my brother. Kingsley, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm happy to meet you too. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I, I hope uh, your husband keeps in touch with you. Yeah. Oh. Yes, That's right. You over to the house so I can thank you myself. Thank you so much, my son. You're welcome. God bless you. Pastor, the food is served. Oh, yes. food. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have bothered yourself. Ah, no, 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 no. This is the first time. So you have to eat my food. I made it special for you. Biko, oh, nice. just go. follow her to the dining. All right, I'll do that. Oh. Thank you. 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 Okay. Yes. Chief, what I am saying is that that girl has not worked with us for too long for you to be talking about promoting her. Edmund, what are you talking about? That she has not worked for too long? You are talking about three years here. Yes, I know, three years, Chief. But if you're looking at those to be promoted, Chief, there are too many people in this company that can be promoted. The security man has been here for seven years. The cleaner woman has worked with us for six good years. The coordinator ahead, he has been here as old as this company is. Chief, those are the people who need the promotion and not this one who laces around praying everywhere. Edmond, as far as I'm concerned, Sharon is the best performer in this company. Her performance is top notch. She deserves a promotion. Chief, I, I don't want you to get me wrong, but I don't think she deserves this promotion. This girl is a lazy person. What does she do with this company that some other person doesn't do? All she does is to pray from here and here. I don't even know if she's planning to turn this place into some kind of prayer hub or prayer mountain. That is the more reason she deserves this promotion. I mean, her prayers have completely transformed this company. Right now, customers are making panegyric statements about her performance already, all because of her. 
it's not just about the customer's chief. Because the way you're sounding, you're also singing the panegyric praises about the girl. The girl does not do anything special in this company. All she does is just to pray everywhere. I mean, the prayer doesn't work. Chief, please reconsider your stand on this promotion. She does not deserve this promotion. I can write names of people that, you can, that can be promoted. I mean, you can go through them and then you can validate and check on them. Sharon is a wonderful administrator. She's very, very good. And I'm telling you without mincing words, she deserves a promotion. Consider this take advantage of another person. They are always planning. Always since you got employed, you have added value to this company. And I must commend you. You have added value to our company, and um, we're very proud of you. But it's quite unfortunate that someone has been taking your glory. I don't understand. Your hard work has been undercover. I still do not understand. Someone in this company has been projecting himself to the MD as someone who does all the work and not you. I can, I can hear a male in between. Like, are you saying it's a he? The person in question wants you out of this office by all means. He's been saying all kinds of terrible things about you. What? As a matter of fact, he's been sitting on your promotion for years. I knew it. Ever since I came into this office, I don't know what I did to anyone. They've been trying to just get me out of here. What have I done? Well, I don't think it's going to be easy because you're way different from others. He can't treat you like he's treated others. It's going to be very hard for him and that's why he's trying to make it very difficult for you here. So I'll suggest you Ignore all his unprofessionalism and uh, focus on your work. I want to assure you that Mr. Edmund will be exposed very soon. Here. <laughs> My beautiful, wonderful damsel. Hmm. You're welcome home. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, son, you're welcome. Hi, how, how are you? How was work today? I'm okay, good. Darling. You okay? You're welcome. <laughs> Dad, yeah. why are you all excited? Haven't you seen mom before? Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> This is my baby. Oh, my bad. Tell him. Baby. Sorry, it's okay. Please leave my husband it's for right. me. Mom, I'll quickly freshen up and... Uh, yes, go ahead. Go right. ahead, darling. Right. Go you. ahead. Let me chat with my wife <laughs> for a while. So how are you? I'm good. Good. Darling. Yes. Oscar is fast growing into a great son. A very loyal and obedient son. What do you expect? Huh? Mm. He's my son. Mm. A lion begets <laughs> a lion. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Uh, I'm proud of the seed of my womb. You see, Oscar is a very, very wonderful son. And uh, he will soon take over from me because uh, I'm planning to retire very soon. Yeah, sure. 
I'm very sure he will do just well. Well, from what I see, you're spot on. <laughs> <laughs> you're not far from the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so. You know what? Yeah. You go freshen up. Mm. Let me go to the kitchen and fix dinner. Mm. I made your favorite. I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. So. Yeah. Make sure you call me as soon as you Oh, I shall do. I shall do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I knew I, what I, I was expecting. I told you. <laughs> and of course, you know, this is not the farming thing. Of course, of sure. course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Saliva is already pouring when I've not tasted it. Have you enjoyed the food already? Just let me test it. Mmm. 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 Nice. No. Delicious. <coughs> Thank you, love. Mm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I love this food. It is um, sumptuously delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten that your wife is the best chef around? Are you telling me? <laughs> it might interest you to know that um, this is one of the main reasons mm -hmm. why I am uh, looking younger. Oh yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. Looking fresh, mm -hmm. right? fresher mm -hmm. and freshest. I'll be eating your food, <laughs> youngest old man. <laughs> Look at this one. Right. <laughs> she knows I'm a young man. I'm oh my woman. God. <laughs> you know, Oscar. Mom. As a matter of fact, your father was the most handsome man that came when people were coming to seek my hand in marriage. Mm. Wow. Really? Yes, I have to Sudos book out for that. Were, Sudos were filing in. Okay. As soon as he came in, I said to myself, this is him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But, but mom, what, what did he do? What, what did he do to win you over? Me? No, no, I don't have to discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this boy. You want me to tell you what your father did to win? Oh, oh, no, oh. Come on, there's nothing wrong with that, Dad. Mm -hmm. No, I know my father is a caring man, so... No, he is. Oh, he he is. He's going to take good care of you. He now is. I am blushing. Oh, I am blushing. <laughs> no, true, true. Andrea, you know, ever since then, I've not had any reason to regret the decision I took then. Oh. <laughs> right. I'm impressed, Dad. Thank you. I'm truly impressed. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Love is beautiful. Don't worry. Soon you will find her. Thank you. Then you will understand why I said what I said. Right. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. Leave my son alone. Right. I don't want you then. Mm. Okay. She's just being a caring okay. mom, Dad. Come on. Oh, okay. That day will come. I give up. Definitely. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> so, my dear. Mama. How is work going on generally? Uh, uh, work is going well. I mean, we just have a few challenges here and there, but we are equal to the task. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad told me you're doing pretty good. Well, yeah, I'm trying. I, I mean, I don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's not that. <laughs> You don't really. <laughs> that you're really enjoying the meal. I say that again. You're not even talking to anyone. <laughs> Why did I talk? Why did I talk? Right. <laughs> you know this fresh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, are you done with the orientation for the new employees? Of course, we I just finished. Oh wow, interesting. <laughs> so tell me, how did it go? Everything went well. They're quite bright, so I'm sure they'll pick up in no time. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a nice day, Mr. Very good, sir. Try, Mr. Tobu, let's remove on. That is what you call yourself as an excuse to sleep around. Chai, 
with everything in schedule. Ah, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver. And not, not a turbulence remover. Hi. Mr. Turbulence Remover, Mr. Turbulence Remover, you are just a deceiver, a deceiver. Soon your game will be over, and you will. Dear God, my guardian angel, creator of heavens and earth, please heal Mr. Richard, healing of this disease once and for all. Your word says that you will not have the devil. You will not allow him to have the last laugh. But I do not let the devil win concerning Mr. Richards. Save him, O oh God. Heal him from his blood to his veins to every fiber of his being. Let your word saturate him and make him whole. In Jesus' name, amen. She is a just woman Her heart's a pure and true She lives a life of honesty And always follows through She's always true to herself I would like to see you in my office immediately. Okay, I'll just shut down my laptop and join you. That's fine. I shall be waiting. Right behind you. Did he enter my office just to stare at me? Edmund, Chief, I hope you remember everything we discussed. I do, Chief. Good. Um. I'm traveling for a month on medical vacation and I expect you and your team to manage this company properly before I return, okay? Um, Chief, there's no cause for alarm. I can comfortably tell you that both staffs and everyone from this company is well behaved. And you know the standards of this company are very high. High level of discipline. Mm -hmm. Everybody must conduct him or herself properly. Alright? Sure, Chief. I also will be addressing the staff tomorrow. Okay? So do well to inform them about the meeting. Sure, I will, sir. Good. If you don't mind, sir, can I go back to my office? It's alright. Thank you, sir. Oscar? Chief. So he wants me to come to his office and listen to him spew nonsense all over again. Okay. There's so much work to do today. Please. He will wait and wait indefinitely. I'm not having this today, please. The immediate supply of this category is beyond the market's value. Who's typing this? This is so wrong. Okay, the constraint surrounding this particular supply is met by the popular demand from Odimba markets. What is even wrong with this girl? I thought I asked this girl called Sharon to come and see me. Eh? Is this Sharon or something? What's that? Sharon, that's her name. That girl doesn't know what she's dealing with. That girl doesn't know I have the ability to deal with her mercilessly. The girl doesn't understand that here in this office, we do things according to hierarchy. You don't know what you're messing with. Now that this stupid girl has to come and see me. Come in! Good day, sir. 
What is wrong with you? I'm asking you. Uh, is there any way to respond to my greeting, sir? Oh, spare me the greeting bullshit. What is the matter with you? What's the fuss about, sir? Do you have to keep me here for too long? Do you know how many hours I've been waiting for you in this office? What's going on? Did I do anything wrong? Besides, I, I know the reason you called me was inconsequential and had nothing to do with work. So I decided to stay back, finish my work before coming because I have a lot to do. Anyway, sir, the MD asked me to give you this, so you just append your signature so I can dispatch it immediately, sir. I have a pen, but I'm not signing right away. We must finish the discussion. I sense for you and I know you deliberately decide not to turn up. What is the matter with you? Do you know you'll regret all of this that you're doing? Please, Mr. Edmund, I will not regret anything. Append your signature. Relationship is not by force. I need to leave this place. Please just sign. Are you ordering me around? I see. You're crying wings. It's okay. The other way, please. Don't order me around. Signature right there at the manager's corner. Alright, make yourself comfortable. Okay, seated. Mr. Jeffrey, what, what's, what's, what's this? What, what, do you what do you think you're doing? What's this? My elegant sheriff. Mr. Jeffrey, please, you're too close for comfort. What if someone badges in on us? The person will just have another idea in mind. Get by thinking something is going on, and I wouldn't want that, please. If something is going on between both of us, I don't think that is a problem. Can you just stop this already? Please. I've told you I do not want this, so put an end to it. Sharon, I don't understand. Why are you acting like a child? Why? Meaning what exactly, Mr. Jeffrey? Meaning what? Sharon, I've always wanted you right from the very first day you got employed in this firm. And I've told you also that relationship is not by force. Really? Sharon, don't you think that you've been in this level a solid three years now without promotion? This tale is all about you scratch my back and I scratch your back. Get it? Mr. Jeffrey, you can keep your promotion. Mm -hmm. And I believe God will promote me in due time. Okay? Please, can you as well just append your signature? Let me get out of this office. Please. You are the biggest joker. I must have what I want. Just woman, her heart's filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself and do whatever.
but she pleased with recklessness. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in the What is wrong with all these men? Why are they so hell-bent on having carnal knowledge with me? <sighs> what do I do now? I think it's high time I report them to the board. No, no, that's too easy. <sighs> I just handle this my own way. Yes, man. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Please sit. Okay. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, as you can see, I was about leaving. So, whatever brings you, make sure it is brief and concise, okay? Okay, Chief. Um, Chief, here's the thing. Um, I actually drove to the house to get you something. You see, many years ago, when my father was having eye problems, someone recommended this to my father. And after using it, the eye problem disappeared. I bet you if you use it, the eye problem will disappear. Really? Yes, Chief. You see, Chief, eye surgery is 50-50. You're not even sure about the success. And instead of you jeopardizing your health because you don't know what might come out of it, I would then advise you try this. It might just work just the way it worked to my father. It's a very good product. You like it. Well, I, I must thank you for your concern. But uh, the Indians, they are the best soldiers in the world. Yeah, Chief, I agree with you, but I... I, I wouldn't advise you embark on surgery because sometimes you don't even know how successful this is going to be. And the truth of the matter is you don't even know what the devil has in store for you if you go for the surgery. So instead of you endangering your life, I would then advise you go with the product. It worked for my father and I'm sure it's going to work for you. Give it a try, Chief. you like it. It's all right. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate this, okay? You're welcome, Chief. All right. Sir, the car is set. It's all right, right? Okay. Um, Chief, yeah. don't forget, you will say bye bye to surgery if you try anything. No problem. All right, sir. I will always remember this, okay? You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sorry to bother you. Um, Anything? Can I pray with you? I, I was led in my spirit to pray for you. Pray for me? Yes, Chief. Hmm. Okay, well, where I came from, we don't tell you. So can I hold your hand? Oscar? Chief. For this one. Oh, that's fine. Uh, well, Oscar, Chief, you mind joining us in the prayers? Uh, Chief, uh, that's fine. You can go ahead, sir. I'll just wait for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. everlasting King of glory, we thank you for your son, Chief Richards. Thank you for his life. Thank you for his health. Father, today we commit his health into your able hands. Amen. I ask for your healing power upon his life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I curse every spirit of cataracts from the roots. I curse every spirit of blindness. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every plan of the enemy to eventually take his life is hereby annulled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, every... She is a just woman. Her heart's so pure and true. She lives a life of honesty. Hmm. 
and always Father, through. I glorify your name in the life of Chief Richard. Lord, show him that those that be with him are far greater than those that may rise against him. Father, do not let him die. He's a good man and a believer. Please, God, save him. I feel goosebumps all over. What is going on? This is the same feeling I had the very first day I stepped my feet in this company. Gross darkness over around this place. But darkness can never overpower light. Light has come to stay. For light shines upon the darkness, and darkness comprehends it not. And who is he that said and it cometh to pass when God has not commanded it? No one. For Christ's light is here to stay. And I speak the healing power of Christ upon him. And I decree light upon his life. In Jesus' name, amen. What's that? It's an eye drop. Oh, okay. You bought it from him? No. Um, oh. He brought it to the office and uh, he recommended that I should use it. Have you used it already? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, huh? Dad. Huh? You said someone gave you this to use? Yes. It has an awful smell. The odor is really bad. Oh. Nah. Really? Yes, yes, yes. I think we should take it to the doctor for him to have it checked. That case, uh, let us head straight to the hospital before going home. So I'll go straight to the hospital, yeah? Yes. Okay. Wow. That's really bad. It's, uh, the smell is really awful. Jesus. Thank God I told you. So let's go have it checked then. Okay. Wow. You're a very useless man. Don't say anything here. You don't like coming for a meeting? Are you mad? Are you stupid? What's wrong with you? Get out! And you go to the toilet, change your clothes, and wear something sexy for the... Some people are very strange. All they do is arrange how they will take advantage of another person. Hey. They are always planning, always plotting, manipulating. Yes, what is it? What are you doing here? What kind of stupid question is that? Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to fix the office. office. With spies strewn everywhere. What's your business with that? Can't I fix the office? Mr. Enmo, you have not even allowed the MD to leave. You're here searching his things. What is wrong with you? Can you stop sounding very catchy. What is your... What exactly do you want? Leave me alone. Mr. Edmund, please leave the office office right now. Leave. You are asking me to... Leave or else I'll have to call his wife. Leave now, Mr. Edmund. Leave. Can I take my phone?
Amen. Amen. It's a trance. Another revelation concerning Mr. Edmund. This Mr. Edmund is evil. That guy needs to be checked. So he attacks me because I was praying for chief. Wow. It's obvious. He has a hand in chief's health. Mm -hmm, he does. But I trust God because he told me that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He's my strength. He's my refuge. In him will I trust. <laughs> A thousand shall fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. It will not come near me. He's too small because I trust in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to take it easy, you know? What is this world turning into, Oscar? This is unbelievable. Yeah. Incredible. <sighs> Absolutely. My wife needs to hear about this. I need to tell her. But Dad, you need to calm down. You need to take things easy. It's important. Let this go outside. But you have to take it easy. Okay? This is incredible. I can't comprehend why Edmund would want me dead. What? Could you believe that that stupid idiot gave me poison for an eye drop? Yeah. That is right. Hey. Yes, mom. Edmund tried to poison dad. But dad was so lucky, he didn't use the eye drop before the doctor confirmed it was a poisonous substance. Jesus Christ, what's the meaning of this? And Dr. Emma said that that poisonous substance is capable of making one blind on application. What? Oscar, is that true? Yes. Dad, Sharon is God sent. I believe her wholeheartedly and I think she's going to be very useful to our company. We need to retain her dad. You know what? Hey. Edmund is fired. Uh -huh. No, dad. Mom, I don't think that's a good idea. I, I know you're upset, I know you're angry, I know you're getting too emotional, but dad, you need to control your anger right now. I strongly believe there's a reason for his action and we need to find out, we need to unravel it. So I suggest you act like everything is fine, you pretend that like nothing happened, you act like you used the eye drop. Let's see how he feels about it, Dad. Yes, I agree with you, Dad. Yes, Mom. Darling, I think Oscar is right. Just pretend. pretty obvious that he connived with the manager to get me out of my office simply because I refused to sleep with any of them in his dreams. I refused to give in no matter what. I'd rather die. If he likes, let him continue to sit on my promotion. But I trust the God that I serve. In due time, he will show Edmund that he is the greatest 
and that he shows mercy to whom he will show mercy. Miss Sharon, is everything okay? You can talk to me. What is eating you up? Um, Miss Sharon, you can actually talk to me, okay? What is it? What's eating you up? I'm fine. You are not fine, and you know it. <sighs> Nini, I'm an adult, and I just told you I was fine. It must mean that I am fine. Thank you. Okay, if you say so. I was only looking out for you. Thank you for looking out for me. You're always welcome. Miss Sharon, are you sure you don't want to talk to anyone? You, you can always talk to me, you know. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Did you say so? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels like I've been hit by a sledgehammer. Ooh. Oh, so sorry about that. Mm. Have you had something for it? Not at all. <sighs> I guess you're overworking yourself. You need to take a break. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> well, I think so too. Maybe it's just work. It has to do with work? Yes, it's about work. Something bothering you? I think someone in this office is trying to frustrate me. And who's that? Never mind. It's fine. Sharon. Don't forget, I brought you here. Do you want to talk about it over lunch? No, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Are you sure? I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, I must tell you the truth. Of all the women I've had in this company, you are the best. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. I just want to tease you. Why would I tease you? Listen, I've tested virtually all the women in this company and I must say you are the bomb amongst them all. Are you kidding me now? I mean... You mean you do this with virtually all the girls in this company? Not just all the girls. I've had virtually all the girls indeed. Except for one who is proving hard to get despite her marital status. And who is that? Who else? Mrs. Bianca. That one. I thought you were going to say Shara. What is happening with you? Wait, which, which Shara? That one who is playing hard to get. I don't think there's anything in between her legs. <laughs> Seriously. She's born again now. What do you expect? Which born again? <laughs> do you know I caught that Mrs. Bianca sleeping with the manager the other day? Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> pick, 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 pick. Are you sure about what you just said? Do I look like I'm kidding? I'm serious. I caught them. <laughs> that means it's time for me to have my own car. You and Mr. Jeffrey sleep with anything in scale. Uh, why would you say that? We don't sleep with anything in the scale. I mean, you know, there are things that if you don't do, as the work ethics, it will begin to cause turbulence on the way. So whatever we're doing, we're fixing the turbulence on the way. Can't you see you? Aren't you shining? I see you that is making me look beautiful. Yeah, because I've taken away the turbulence in you. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I've actually 
had that Smolly that works in the factory. You know this Smolly now. What's the Smolly are you talking about? Oma, we shot him. Oma, of course, the shot Kobe won. What that happened yesterday? You're kidding, right? No, tell me you're kidding. But isn't she a woman? Isn't she beautiful? She's She's Sharon. Yeah. What I'm about to say right now is for your ears only. No one else. Okay. What is it? The surgery wasn't carried out anymore. What? Yes. I mean, who told you? You have added so much value to this company since you got here. Your prayers are working. I mean, the morning prayers you started has changed a lot of things in this office. I don't get it. So, the MD had jetted out to India, you know, for the surgery. On getting there, certain tests were, you know, were performed and everything was normal. Jesus! Yes. What God cannot do does not exist. Exactly. What a mighty God we serve. I knew you would do it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <sighs> exactly. Oh, God. It clearly shows that the money prayers has done a lot of good for <laughs> us. Although a lot of people don't like it and they want it stopped, but it can't be stopped. They cannot stop it. They will try, yet they will keep failing. <sighs> Thank you, God. And you have to be very careful. Mr. Edmond has written a lot of uh, petition against you and he wants the morning prayers to stop. But we told him it can't be stopped. You were telling me something about the MD. Just forget about Mr. Edmond. So he's fine now? Yes. You mean perfect? He's doing okay. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're wonderful, Lord. I mean, your prayers <laughs> took away the possibilities of him going blind. God alone did it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And Sharon, the company is very proud of you. The MD and his entire family, they speak very well of you. The glory belongs to God. Thank you. Now I understand why the MD's wife came to see me the other day. It's all beginning to make some sense. Here I was thinking that the Thanksgiving service chief and his family held in their church on Sunday was because of a successful surgery. No, um, the surgery wasn't necessary anymore because the eye problem, you know, it's all gone away. Oh God, you are just too much. Ah, may your name be praised. And you heard what the supervisor did. Yet he allowed it. You need to calm down. Something tells me you're going to laugh at last. If it's about me, I'm fine. You need to calm down. Everything is going to be fine. But I must commend your, your courage. I admire your courage and your patience. It's not a problem. I'm fine, trust me. That's the spirit. Mrs. Bianca, what is your problem for crying out loud? Why can't you give me this stuff? Eh? See, let's do this thing. Let's start doing it. You will never regret it. I will give it to you on one condition. I'm listening. That you fasten my promotion? Try Mr. Turbulence Remover. That is what you call yourself. 
as an excuse to sleep around shy with everything in ghetto ah mr turbulence remover mr turbulence remover you are just a deceiver a deceiver you are a turbulence giver if the promotion is what you want consider it done are you sure Listen to me. Promotion is one of the easiest things I can make to happen in this company. Somebody will just badge in us. This is rather compromising, you know? Don't worry. Uh, you can just give me a kiss. I'm, I'm, I'm not really comfortable here. This is not. Okay. This is an office. So, Somebody like we, 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 we reschedule. Something like that. <laughs> Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver. And not, not a turbulence remover. Hi, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. Soon your game will be over. And you will become Mr. Mr. Turbulence Receiver. Hey. So you guys go this way and look. So the dancer continue. Who was that? That devil. Who? Sharon. Oh my god. Sharon. Did she say anything? Oh, what kind of problem is this? Are you sure she's okay? Shit! I told you! Hey, but relax yourself! Hey, hey! You told me and I thought the door was locked! What was that for? What has been going on in this office? And who knows? For how long? Let's go before we start it. Come on. I told you. I, I, I told you. Look at her. She, she has seen us. I, I told her that so, so I come here and see us. It's okay. Is it a promotion you want? See, if you want promotion, you better do the needful to get promotion. I don't like these things. How will I walk, walk around this office with, with my hair tie and, and then my nose in the hair? How will I do it? Eh? At the same time, you want your promotion. Listen, this is what all women do. Most women you see that get promoted here and there. This is what they do in their offices. So chill, man. Let's write this. You are, you are, just, you are so shameless. Sure, you can say that again. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, you know what we'll do? Um, we can book somewhere else for this. Oh my god. What is this world turning into? They were busy groaning in pleasure. They didn't even notice my presence. What if they had been the MD? What would they have done? God. Mr. Edmund and Mr. Jeffrey sleeps with different women in this office with reckless abandon. 
promoting them while I remain on the same level. And it's been this way for years. God, please have mercy. retype that. The MD complained that it had too many typographical errors. Even I couldn't read it. I will do it when I get back. I need to go for lunch now. At least take a look at it first. When I get back. Please. Driving down to downtown guest house. I'll see you soon. Okay, but well, can I take you for something? Please don't keep me waiting. I'll see you soon. See you later. Uh. When I get back, you can go. Shameless woman. She couldn't even wait to go be in the arms of a lover. I'm working on, I'll soon be done. Oh, that's great. You know, I thought to stop over at a restaurant to get you something to eat, or to get my sunshine something to eat. But I wanted to ask you first. Why did you just call me? That's what you are, my sunshine. Oscar, I hope you're not trying to ask me out. Because I am sick of the level of Immorality going on in this office. Immorality, you say? As if you don't know. <sighs> Sharon, I'll advise you to mind your business. Even if you observe something in this office, act as though you don't know. So you know everything that is happening, yet you chose to keep quiet about it, even as a PA to the MD? I try to mind my business. Why do I get this feeling that you're scared of them? Like I said, I try to mind my business because I don't want to lose my job. Oh, I don't get it. This is, this is an office. There's supposed to be some level of decorum, orderliness in this establishment. Well, I want to believe they don't know that. They don't know professionalism. Yeah. <sighs> well, 
What would you like for lunch? I need to finish this. Oh man, this is the... <laughs> you've, you've you've demolished everything. You've taken away the turbulence in my life. <laughs> you're uh, so you're so strong, super strong. Like not not ever. That my stupid husband. Two seconds. Uh, uh, really? that two seconds is done. So that means the man is not going to remove turbulence. Uh, <laughs> you just took my breath away. I can't uh, even catch my breath. Like I'm tired and exhausted. <sighs> I think at this junction I'm going home. Like I'm not going back to the office again. You're not, you're not even going anywhere. We're going to be here for another I'm two just hours. Joking. <sighs> my hair is pulling out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So you're still this strong uh, after two kids? Yes, uh, oh, and I'm man. so tight, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What? In fact, I where's my panties? Your, your panties? <laughs> you flick them away. I don't know, man. Probably they're in the office. <laughs> ah, oh my! Come on, give me a kiss, come on. I want more of you. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know what? What? What is it? What is it? It's late. I need to leave. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, where's my? Okay, just go with them. I'll catch up with you. Okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm coming, eh? You know your break time and mine is not the same. No, 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 I should not be back with him. I should be going to the office without him. Edmond. Bianca. Yes, Chief. You both left this company by 1 p.m. for a one hour break but returned by 3 p.m. Is there any plausible explanation for this act of lateness by both of you? Um, Chief, I am very sorry this happened. I lost track of time, but I can tell you this will not happen again. I'm sorry about this. Edmund. Chief. You've been working for this company for some years now. And you are supposed to be aware that the company does not take kindly to this kind of lackadaisical attitude that you are putting up. You leave this company at will and you return anytime you like. This is unacceptable. No, no, Chief. Please, like I said, I lost track of time. I am deeply sorry this happened, but I can guarantee you it will not repeat itself again. It will happen again. Of course it will not happen again. And you, Bianca. Yes, Chief. Did you go home to breastfeed your newborn baby? Um, I'm so sorry, Chief. Something was about to go wrong in my house that needed my urgent attention, so I had to go sort it out. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. Your lack of concentration is beginning to have a toll on your performance in this company. You type all sorts of things, garbage, and dump on my table. I end up giving it to someone else to complete before I sign. This, your lack of concentration, is unacceptable. I'm so sorry, sir. What is your position in this company, Bianca? I'm the secretary, sir. Secretary. And you abandon your job? You don't do the work given to you, and you leave them for Sharon to do? 
Sir, I, I never asked her to do my job for me. I only told her that I'll do the corrections once I get back from break. But did she tell you that this particular agreement is needed urgently by me? Yes, she did, sir. She did. I don't know what to do to both of you right now. Get out of my sight. We are sorry, Chief. Get out. We are sorry. Talk to me like that. <laughs> this is not why I'm here. In case you have forgotten, Mrs. Bianca, there's hierarchy in this office. And this is a very unconventional way to badge in on your superior. Superior, my foot! Like my foot! Mrs. Bianca. Say whatever you need to and just leave because I have so much work that I need to attend. I came to give you a sponge in the morning. Sharon, stay off my business. Stay put in your office and do your business. Mind your freaking business. Do not do my job for me. I did not ask you to do it. What is your stupid attitude here? Your rubbish. Enough! This is Bianca. Enough. This is where I draw the line. Aren't you even ashamed of yourself? You left your work to go be in the arms of another man. And how is that your freaking business? Does it affect your life? I'm asking you. Mrs. Bianca, I caught you in the arms of another man. You should be ashamed of yourself. And why should I be ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Am I the first to do that? Or you just want to be ignorant? I'm asking you a question. For the fact that everybody is doing it does not make it right. Wake up! Evil is evil. You are a married woman. Therefore, you should carry yourself with dignity. But I guess you don't have any, do you? I am here to give you the peace of my mind, Sharon. <laughs> do not cross my path. Stay put in your room. Mind your business. This is my body and not yours. I use it the way I want to use it. Mind your business. You know what? Listening to you talk, I actually feel ashamed for you. You know what? I weep for your husband. And you shall keep weeping. That's your portion. Tears is what you deserve. Do you understand? <laughs> Mind your business. Else! Mrs. Bianca, leave my space right now. <laughs> I will not warn you again. Do not start what you cannot finish. You are chewing more than you can swallow. And it will, it will hold your shoes and keep you. Be careful of me. So what? This woman is so shameless. Look at her. Oh my word. What is this world turning into? This generation. I have been thinking. I am not sure what Chief has used the eye drop I gave him. What's going on? If he had used it by now, he should be blind heading to his grave. All I want is just an opportunity on how to sell this company since he doesn't have a child of his own. <sighs> I can't lose this. No, I can't lose this. Tasted yummy as usual. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. I know you will like it. Mm -hmm. It's your favorite uh, vegetable soup. Of course. Mm -hmm. I took after dad. He also loved vegetable soup and Gary rice. Right? 
I remember those years. I missed my husband so much. <laughs> those years. <laughs> just go to the market, mm. get good love, mm. ask me to make vegetable soup for him. Tell me, who would you miss if not your husband? <laughs> you can have blushing. <laughs> Mom, and yes, I also remember, you know, back then, that Dad would eat a lot of meat. He loved meat alone. In fact, he loved to eat more meat than the food itself. And I understand when he went bankrupt, he couldn't handle it. I think that really hit him hard. Yes, my daughter. Your daddy is God's favorite. That is the reason God made a way for him through my younger brother Jude. Jude came back from US and saw your daddy's state. He took him. I thank God for his life. Hmm. He's the best dad in the whole wide world. He's so persistent, he's resilient. You know, that taught me to be strong, independent, never to give up, always hold on. I learned so much from that. And I'm glad I have him as my father. Your daddy is a Christian to call. You can say to that call. again. This way you buy the last one, the lab I am So how is work? Ah, uh, or uh, uh, hmm. what is it? Any problem? It's me. Morgan, what is it? It's me, your husband. It's you, your you, 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 you husband. Are you blind? This thing you are seeing here now is not bridge. This is bridge. Divided Red Sea. Leave it here. Don't, don't, don't cross your band. Stay there. This is my side. Stay in one place. Don't, don't disturb you. Honey. Don't even touch me. Honey, honey, honey. Please now. Eh? Eh? Just, just small. Just help me. Please. Eh? Hey, what is it? Baby, just just to fall on. Hey, oh, what's it? Just just to fall on. Let, 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 let. Convulsion, epilepsy. You just or drag gag down. Then if like, let's just scatter. I want to rest. Don't stress me. Don't touch me. What is that? If they allow you now, you, you can't do anything. One child romance you cannot do. Half second man. Only get me. Only the mere nothing. Don't stress me. Don't even stress me. Baby, baby. But you always ask for this now. What have gone over you? Yeah? Who? Me? How? When? Explain it. Just once now. Just Respect this yourself. Place. Can see this is so deep. Yeah, but why get a trust? Let it destroy your life. I'm not interested. Don't touch me. No. Don't touch me. Baby. 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 What's that? This is my right. Eh? Yes. I'm your husband. Yes. Show me the court order. It's your rights. Property owned. I'm not good. Okay? Don't, 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 don't touch me. Swag Don't touch me. Oh. 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 Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't. Oh, Jesus. Spell it, Jesus. No, 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 no,
Gomorrah. My office now has an equal rating with Sodom and Gomorrah. Hmm. Oh, How do you mean? Simply because I refuse to give in to their sexual advances, the manager and the supervisor connived and moved me out of my office as soon as the MD left to India into the staff's office. But I'm not perturbed. Mm -mm. They can't. They, they, they won't get to me. Uh -uh. It is very, very shameful for all this to be happening in that your office. Under the director's nose, and he does not know about it. Hmm. Mom, if I open this my mouth to tell you the atrocities going on in that office, you'll be amazed. <laughs> the supervisor and the manager, they are busy changing women as if they are changing their underwears. Mom, earlier today, the supervisor invited me to his office to spew nonsense as usual, but I turned him down. A few hours later, I barged into his office only to catch himself and Mrs. Bianca, the company's secretary. <laughs> Mom, just take your time to imagine it. I don't want to say it, but it was horrible seeing them together like that. Mom. I, 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 <sighs> I can't even say it. It's too heavy for me to say. Ah, no, 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 no. My daughter, let me ask you. This uh, woman, Bianca, is she a married woman? Do she? To fear one. As a buyer. As if that was not enough. <laughs> when I caught them, they quickly made an appointment and left the office during break time. Mm -hmm. They went to sleep with each other and came back at about 3 p.m., Mom. 3 p.m. What? Mm -hmm. After receiving a whole lot of queries, the shameless Mrs. Bianca hmm, barged into the staff's office to throw vile words at me, insulted the living daylight out, out of me, then proceeded to even threaten my life, mom. That shameless woman, that shameless she goat, then where do you fare? You need to see the way this lady carries herself. She carries herself as if she's the most sophisticated and beautiful, God-given, whatever, to this generation, mom. <laughs> but I won't deny. Um, she's beautiful. But come on, mom. What beauty? As far as I'm concerned, she is the most ugliest woman, ugliest creature walking under the surface of earth. And what a beauty are they? What's in beautiful? Mom, she's actually pretty, truth be told. Jeez. Hmm. Bianca. 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 Bianca, Bianca, listen, you are my wife, and I demand you to allow me to perform my conjugal rights. You owe me as a husband. Do you hear me? Bianca! Are you okay? You are asking me, am I okay? Because you are sick. Like what BP? See your vein. Yanke, Yanke, you will just die. And I will not wear white, I will wear black for you. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But let me ask you one sincere question. Since we married ourselves, have you ever in your miserable life made people scream your name by mistake? Or oh, knew by mistake? Have I ever no? Come on, come on, come on, Cloud Nine. Yeah, I'll give I have not entered. You, can, you can't do anything. You can't photo. You can't cuddle. You can't even let your fellow. You can't even do anything. Oh, God. Don't. If you touch me again, I will change that for you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Bianca, listen. I'm ready to perform everything. Eh? Even here, I'm ready. Even here, anyhow, as you want it this night. I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't touch me. Mr. Reddy, if you touch me, I look at Megan. Don't even touch me. Don't even dare. This is my right. This is my right, Bianca. It's your right. 
It's a red Bianca. And what kind of rest, man? Since you are mad, if you touch me, I'm to my car. I look at you this night. Don't touch me. Bianca, so you want to deny me my God given rights? Hey, hey, hey. God, you, in fact, let me advise you. Uncle, go and read books. Watch Polo. No, no. Watch blue films. Create films where one and woman is doing some sweet things. Go and watch them and learn. Until then, don't come close to me. In an air. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me understand this. You are advising me, your husband, to start watching uh Yes! Yes! Go and watch it! Watch blue film, don't be pornography, that's what people can make it Watch blue film! Jesus! J Jesus, spell it! Is it just saying that? This is my first time to hear from a woman, a married woman, advising her husband to start watching porno. Porno! It's not porno, it's blue film. Porno, that's why you, you are an immature. Bianca, porno! You are an amateur. Oh, my yima. You are not matured, you are not sexy, you are not romantic, you are not anything. It, it is so boring. Uncle, you are so boring. A boring man cannot work here. Get out. Don't touch me. No. This is really getting out of hand. Chief, you called me. Why did you absent yourself from morning devotion today? I... Chief, I was busy with work. You're busy with work? Yes, Chief. Now, both of you, get it into your heads that morning devotion is compulsory in this company. And anyone who absents him or herself from the morning devotion as instituted by Sharon in this company will have me to contend with. Is that understood? Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Good. Now get out. Leave my office. 